So what's the deal here? Why is one checklist a flow while another is a do list? Let's take a look. Here's your flight fix. Welcome to the Cirrus Approach Flight Fix, the bite-sized flight training show dedicated to pilots who never stop learning. You can lump pretty much any checklist procedure, regardless of what airplane you're referring to, into one of two general categories, and that's do lists and flows, or flow patterns. And on that note, let's warm up with a shameless plug, shall we? If we're talking about checklist procedures, how could we not talk about the awesomest resource that's available to you and even helps make this show possible? I have a Bingo. This episode of the Cirrus Approach Flight Fix is brought to you by the Cirrus Aircraft IFOM, the interactive flight operations manual that's so nice they made it twice for both the Garmin Perspective and Avidyne Integra line of Cirrus SR Series airplanes. With text, interactive widgets, and beautiful video demonstrations, you'll get up to speed quickly on the safest procedures and best practices for SR Series flying. It's the perfect addition to your digital flight kit and goes great with plaid. Available now on the Apple iBook Store. Now, back to you, Bob. So I guess I'm Bob now. Anyways, in the annals of aviation, there have been a lot of lessons learned about that human-machine interface and really the interaction between the two. Today's cockpits are designed, of course, with the pilot's comfort in mind, but also with the workflow in mind. Design has evolved to address those very human factors. That's quite a departure from the more cold and utilitarian designs found not so long ago. The evolution of the checklist is really no different. It's been improved, tweaked, changed, updated, and revised, really chopped up and rethought. It's even been transformed into the digital realm, like you see every day on your MFD. Well, let's make some sense out of why a checklist might be designated as either a flow or a do list. And I know where we can awaken our inner checklist geek. Let's go to the cool looking, but not at all real hangar. All right, let's get right into it. What's the philosophical difference between a do list and a flow? Well, think of a typical do list. Uh, take the engine start checklist, for example. Do lists require that each item within the checklist is completed and hang with me here that the procedure is carried out in the exact order listed. The sequence is usually pretty crucial. The individual tasks and the order in which they're completed will really make or break the successful completion of this type of checklist. But then on the other hand, you have checklists where there's a real operational advantage to getting the individual tasks completed in a timely manner. Those are your flow checklists. They're about efficiency. They're about making your workload manageable, especially in high workload situations. Now think about your before landing checklist. Now sure, in a perfect world, you want to complete the checklist correctly from memory every single time. But considering that that's maybe an unrealistic expectation in the middle of a flight, flow checklists are designed so that it's okay. It's, it's not the end of the world if maybe an individual task or two. or two maybe aren't completed in the proper order. So what is important though is that the flow pattern is verified at the end when your workload permits using the actual checklist, just like this one. Altimeter is set, cabin heat is good, landing light is on, fuel system checks, the mixture is good, and the brake pressure is fantastic. Descent checklist is complete. So I guess to put it in not so many words. Thank you. You're welcome. The do list gets the job done right the first time, but it takes a little longer. Flows, by comparison, get the job done quickly, but at the price of decreased accuracy sometimes. That's really how these two checklist philosophies are deployed by kind of asking yourself, what's more important at a given point in the flight? Is it accuracy or efficiency? And yes, I know you've started the engine on your Cirrus hundreds of times. I totally get it. You could probably start it in your sleep, but the do list is designed to slow you down, to get you thinking, are the brakes set? Is the prop area clear? But then, Maybe inadvertently evolving a do list into a flow, that absolutely invites complacency. And as we know, complacency always comes to the party with a plus one, and that's trouble. And seriously, who writes this stuff? Not me. Uh-huh. Now, how about flows? What's the operational advantage? Well, it's simple, really. It's 
time. That is, more time to focus on flying the airplane when the flight phase already demands a high workload from you, the pilot, and it's when certain tasks just need to get done to keep your flying going. So your number one priority is just that, to fly and of course enjoy being out in your Cirrus. Physical memory, that is the path that you take to complete the checklist, that's probably the best way to commit each flow pattern to memory. Practice those flows to develop that muscle memory. Do it even during the quiet, low workload moments of your flight. Better yet, remember the IFOM? You can use the interactive cockpit tools in there to rapidly exercise and quiz yourself on each flow pattern. Because once you really get them down, you're gonna love using them in flight. It's gonna make things really move and keep the flight efficient. And really commit, discipline yourself to always follow those do lists with the checklist out. Go down it item by item to ensure the checklist is completed in the proper order and to fend off the always sneaky threat of complacency. As always, we want to get the Global Cirrus community talking at us. Let us know what you think. Send comments, questions, biting critiques, or loving praise to learning at cirrusaircraft.com. And get us some more of those awesome video sign-offs. We're loving them. Hello, everybody. My name is Steve Rennie. I'm a brand new Cirrus pilot and longtime music industry professional, former manager of a little rock band called Incubus. My new Cirrus, there's just so much to learn, whether you're learning and playing with your instruments on the ground or up here flying. I want to thank all the folks at Cirrus for making it so easy to do. It really is true. Learning is a lifestyle, so I hope to see you at the next fix. I'm going to go back to flying this airplane.